Today, I'm gonna to show you the quick, easy way to clean a nasty tarp. So what you're gonna do, I roll all my tarps on pickups and when I put them away. So how you're gonna do this, start to roll it out and then on this underside right here, I'm gonna stake it down loosely, then roll out the whole tarp. And this tarp is on its last legs here but we're gonna see if we can squeeze a few more rentals out of it because these stupid tarps are expensive. Okay, then I'm going to stake down this corner. Then I can pull it across and pull it tight. And I'm just trying to get it flat so it can kind of air out and dry out a little bit. And for the record, this is the exact same way I do the tarps when I set up a water slide or a bounce house. Okay, now we're set up. Truth that it's real, there's a Hot Wheel in it. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you how to clean it with my two methods that are quick and easy. First is the hose. Second is the blower, like the leaf blower. Okay, so I got my hose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and spray the tarp anywhere that it's dirty. So like, for instance, right here is real dirty. So I'm gonna hit it with the sprayer and I'm just trying to loosen the dirt. Like that. So I'm not gonna worry about spraying it off the edge. I'm just worried about getting the dirt and uh, the mud loosened. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I've got everything loosened. So next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tarp, I'm gonna unstake these two corners and pull it over and dump all the water off of it. So one stake, and I kind of get it started. We just cut the grass, so got a little grass clippings on there. That's okay. Now I'm gonna take this side. And then this is also exactly what we do when we pick water slides up to get the water that's on the tarp off the tarp is you just pull this way. Don't gotta get it super flat going this way, but flatter the better. And there we go. So now the top of my tarp all of the dirt and mud has dumped off, so to speak. Now you'll notice this side of the tarp is super filthy. I'm not gonna clean it. I keep the bottom of the tarp always as the bottom of the tarp so it doesn't really matter how dirty it gets. The top of the tarp is all we're gonna worry about. So then I'm just gonna pull it back over, stake it back down pretty much where it was at. Of course, it's a nice windy day when we do tarp day. Always. So there you go. Right? Now it's looking much better. It's already somewhat dry. And as I said before, this tarp is kind of on its last leg, so it's stained out all over the place anyways. But when you're putting it under a water slide, it's not that big of a deal. But now you can see we've got it much, much cleaner than before. So now I'm gonna get the little leaf blower and I'm gonna show you what to do with that. Okay, so now I got the blower. So this is called a Sun Joe blower. I bought it on Amazon, I think it was $20. Um, I love this thing, it's light, it's easy, and it blows you know, relatively fast, I think 150 miles an hour. You can get yourself a gas powered one, whatever you wanna do, I love this. So we actually have two of these blowers. This one stays at the house for cleaning tarps, and then the other one stays in the truck so we can uh, blow the tarp off when we get to the pickup. But all you're gonna do with this is basically blow off the debris, and then if you've got any place where the water has puddled up on the tarp, which this tarp's so old, it doesn't really hold water that well, you can just kind of spread the, spread the water out 
and it'll dry a lot faster. And then I've got a cool rolling technique I'm gonna show you to continue drying the tarp even when it's rolled. So then basically all you're gonna do is hit the tarp and get the debris off it. And there you go, your tarp is clean, but it's ready for the next rental. Um, the way I always look at these tarps is that it's a tarp. It goes under the slide or under the bounce house. It's not the end of the world. I try to squeeze as much as I can out of them. I buy the cheapest ones I can find at Harbor Freight, and that works great for me. You may wanna go spend $100 on a tarp and get the heavy duty ones that last longer. It's, it's whatever. There's no right way to do this. There's just the right way for you, and this is the right way for me. So if you'll notice too, you know, there's sections of the tarp where, like, there's still dirt and grime on it. It's here, especially over in the corner. It's fine with me. I just leave it that way and go to the next rental. It's not a big deal. So now I'm going to show you how to fold this up and roll it. And then the way we're going to fold it will help the tarp drain if it had more water on it still. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is we're just going to fold it in half. So I take the stake out. And I'm going to bring this over a little bit. It's not going to make it all the way because I'm still staked over here. Bring this over. And then by doing this, what happens is you'll notice the top of the tarp is always touching the top of the tarp, right? Because it's folded in half. And so the nasty bottom that's always pretty much always muddy like this is not going to contaminate the clean side. Okay, pull it kind of tight. Slip that on there. And what I'll do is just walk some air out of it, make sure I get my fold straight. Then I'm gonna go in half again. Then I straighten it out, get it nice and even. The wind is gonna be a pain today. So we'll cheat. Okay, then we're gonna go in half one more time. And so what I'll do is I'll get the ends, then I'm gonna go back for the middle. Then I'm gonna unstake it. Come down here, straighten it out a little bit. unstake it and then we're good to go and you're gonna roll it just like it's a water slide or a bounce house I roll them as tight as I can get them just try to keep it as straight as I can make sure nothing's caught nothing's folded nothing's goofy and as I'm going if it starts to get loose kind of grab it almost fold it like crease it get it nice and tight again the way I always look at it is, the tighter the roll, the easier it is to move, easier it is to store, the less it's gonna come unrolled. And then, there we go. And if you notice, cool little thing that I do, I got an orange zip tie on the corner. So I always try to roll to that corner, so that corner's on the outside, and all the tarp sizes are color-coded. So blue ones are 20 by 40, orange ones are 20 by 30, and the green ones are 20 by 20. So that way I always know what size tarp I'm grabbing. So then if it had more water on it, the way we folded it, your water will continue to drain out this side. And so after a pickup, what I'll do is I'll go and I just set it, either lean it up against the trailer like this, or I can set it in one of my dollies like this on the back of the trailer. And the thing will just drain, drain, drain. When I get to the storage unit, I put it away soaking wet because I clean most of them uh, when we pick them up and I have pallets in the storage where I keep all the water slides. So I just set it on there and it just continues to drain until next week. By next week when you go to roll it out, it's practically dry and it's already clean because most of the time I clean them on pickup. The only time I clean them at the house is when they get super filthy, which this one was way nasty. So, But uh, yeah, we'll get a couple more rentals out of this, this tarp and then that way you guys can now use my cool little tarp technique to clean your stuff super fast. As always, thank you for watching. Peace out.